Chapter 2 The Earlier Societies We are not sure as to when exactly man as we know him came into being. Anthropologists have discovered skulls and bones of creatures which seemed to be neither of a man nor of an ape. In the book on the origin of species, Charles Darwin explains his theory of evolution. According to him, all species have to struggle for their existence. Naturally, it is the fittest and the strongest who survive. Thus, man is supposed to have slowly evolved from apes. According to popular belief, man first walked on all four limbs. Later, he started walking on his legs and was known as Homo erectus. The development of the brain led to the modern man or Homo sapiens. Early man belonged to the prehistoric period of history. This period is also called Stone Age because stone was the only material that was widely in use for making tools. Based on the type and quality of tools used by the early man, Stone Age is divided into four phases. The Stone Age, Paleolithic Age, Old Stone Age, 5 lakh BC to 10,000 BC, Mesolithic Age, Middle Stone Age, 10,000 BC to 8,000 BC, Neolithic Age, New Stone Age, 8,000 BC to 4,000 BC, Chalcolithic Age, Copper Stone Age, 4000 BC to 2000 BC. The Paleolithic Age, 5 lakh BC to 10,000 BC. Life during the Paleolithic Age. The first modern man, Homo sapiens, seemed to have lived on Earth about 5 lakh years ago. Except about the last 10,000 years, this period is known as Paleolithic Age. Paleo means old and lithic means stone in Greek. Much of the human history belong to this age. Our knowledge of this period is quite little as we have to depend upon studying the remains, bones, crude stone tools and paintings in caves and on walls. The life of early man was basically spent prowling about in jungles and swamps, protecting himself from others and searching for food. So, they had to keep moving.